welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. In this video, I'm doing a recipe spread in my Happy Planner recipe planner. Um, and I know I said not very long ago that I didn't have very many slow cooker recipes um, in my recipe planner. As a matter of fact, I've only done one. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to make do another slow cooker recipe. And this one is going to be for crock pot cube steak. I've got the picture here. It looks really, really good. Um, I haven't done, made it yet, of course, but um, I just found it and figured it looked really good. So why not put it in the planner? I thought that I was missing some of the recipe, but I, I'm not. It, um, it just, I can read it. Um, and that was the end of it. So I had to check that out real quick. But anyway, so... For stickers, I'm going to use a couple stickers out of Southern Farmhouse, and then I have a confession to make. I have not used any of these stickers in this Botanicals Mega Sticker Book, and I've had it forever. Like, I've had it literally since it came out, since I don't even know when it came out. It says copyright 2021 on the back, so I'm guessing around 2021, and um, yeah, I've never used it. Um, isn't that crazy? So anyway, I'm going to use some of the floral stickers in here. Um, anyway, so what do I want to write the name of the recipe with? I want to use like a dark burgundy color, but I don't think I have any like brush pens with that color i have this like brownish color pen tail touch sign pen i could just use this um okay crock pot cube steak Ran out of room there at the end, but oh well, that's all right. Okay, um, I'm gonna take my Micron 0.05 and fill out the side over here. So it says it serves four main ingredients: cube steak. And let's see, egg noodles. Difficulty, I'm gonna say it's probably pretty easy. I'm gonna give it a two. Prep time, 15 minutes. Cook time, hmm. nine hours maybe temperature low okay so now i'm going to what the heck happened there i'm gonna white out where it says ingredients this white this white out is like I don't know what's up with it. It's not wanting to work. Okay. And there's a little sticker that says crock pot here. I'm going to use that. Okay. Now, since that crock pot sticker was like a brownish burgundy color, I decided I wanted to use these like darkish pinkish color florals so that's that's what I'm gonna use um, whoops I 
got this like small one here. I got my wax paper. And I'm gonna pull a couple of them out. I saw on this side there were like edge cut strips. So I'm gonna get one of those. I might use this big one here. I might use a couple of these. Okay. So here are some of the boxes. I'm gonna take this little header size box with that flower in it. And I'm gonna put it right here. But I think I might layer it with this piece. Right like that. Okay. And I'm going to write ingredients in it. Oh, that was bad. Like, I should have took it over and, like, wrote over top of the flower a little bit, but oh well. Okay, so I'm going to see how many ingredients there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got ten ingredients. Hmm. Okay, so I could use some of these um, dot stickers. I actually have a bunch of them laid out right here that I used at one time and then put them back because I decided not to use them. So, oops, I'm gonna use these two. So now I'm going to write all the ingredients down in this area right here. Okay, I got all of the um, ingredients written down there. I'm gonna white out right here where it says preparation. And I'll put this piece of washi down. trim it though okay and I'm gonna put um, let's see I think I'm gonna put the this big floral over here or Maybe the big one over here. And the smaller one down here at the bottom. All right, so I know I got a couple of scraps here. We'll put them up here at the top. Here we go. Okay, now, I 
I'm gonna take this one, that's this uh, lighter color header size box, and I'm gonna write directions in it. Now let's see how many directions I can get into one box. I don't think there are any double box stickers in here. There are some double box, but none that match those florals. They have different type of florals in them. And I don't, there's none on this side either. I wonder if there's any in the Southern Farmhouse book in any of the colors. Okay. I'm gonna take this one right here, but I'm gonna trim where it says weekend plans and this stuff down here at the bottom. Oops. Make sure I get it straight. layer that over top of that little washi strip as well. Actually, now I was going to go thinking about going over this way a little bit to cover up where it says notes a little bit. Kind of like that. Okay, and then I think I'm going to go into this original alphabet sticker book. And let's see, what colors do we got in here? I don't really wanna use a red and that dark pink is a little, just a little too bright. I could use a gold, okay. One that's not, yeah, okay. I'm gonna use this one. Use up this page first. So I'm gonna put a number one right here for this, for that to be in the first step. And then I'm going to start writing. There is the first step. Actually, it was the first and second step, but the second step was just like literally one sentence to cook for eight hours on low. So I didn't really need to make a whole new step just for that. All right, I'm going to put this box. So I'm gonna use this. Actually, I kind of want to separate because this box and this box are the same color. I want to separate the two. Okay, I'm going to grab this box here. This little quote says, happiness is homemade. I'm going to put it like this. That way I can separate the two boxes. And I'm gonna grab this gold foiled number two. And put it right there. Okay, now I'm gonna write the next steps. I got one more step and it is not very big. I'm gonna go ahead and grab out a number three from this so I can put this away. <clears throat> and 
then I think I'm going to use this cute little polka dotted um, box. And I'm going to go ahead and like, I'm going to trim this picture. Like I'm going to trim around this little plate here. And I'm going to kind of map out where I want to put this picture. So like, uh... Maybe right here. So I can put the box kind of like this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the picture down. Where is my glue pen? Here it is. I love using, this is a Zig uh, two-way glue pen, or I, I saw, I think it was Mary Ellen from Planning with Bumble use this, and I just Google or not Googled, I went to Amazon and put in glue pen and found it like that. Anyway. So I'm gonna put this picture down right here and then put my box. It's gonna kind of layer over top of the picture, but that's fine. Right there. I got something on the box. I don't know what that is. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm gonna grab my number three. And I'm gonna put it to this side. Okay, and I'm gonna write the last step down. All right, so that is all of the steps. I still have this little strip of florals. I'm gonna put down here at the bottom. Okay. I trimmed around the picture right there. And maybe put the rest of it maybe up, up this way. Oops, I'm going over top of that. I don't know. I could put it right here and just trim this this section right here to make it even where I trimmed around the picture. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Okay cute and there are some like one word quotes in the back of this book but I kind of like that it says you can I got like space just for that right there um, this gather is a little too pink Okay, I think I'm going to go back to that you can. It's the right color I want. And there's space just enough for it right here. Although I probably think that home would have fit this way a little bit better, but oh well too late because once you put a sticker over top of a picture it does not look pretty pulling back off 
But anyway, so that is my recipe for crockpot cube steak. It looks really yummy. I can't wait to make it and um, see how everybody in the family likes it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please hit the like button. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye.